Now, I already told you people, first one's free. Then what I say? I said I will shut that shit down. No exceptions. Now, I don't know what kind of lying assholes you've been dealing with. But I'm a man of my word. First impressions are important. I need you to know me. So... Back to it. Veteran Administration, VA. Mortgages for white vets only. Now, I don't know if you uh if you've seen the Phil Donahue show with uh Father Khalid Muhammad, but there was this war vet white guy who stood up and uh and, and he said that you know Kyle should be ashamed of himself of you know how he's spewing racism and you know whatnot but um Kyle Muhammad says something along the lines of you know you 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 uh you make me sick with that um you know the fact that you know the guy was saying that he, he that you know, America, the wars, it was fought for our freedom and whatnot. I kind of say you make me sick with that. When when we were at war, American soldiers ate in the same mess hall with their Nazi Germany enemies. While those black persons who were in war with the Americans on the side of the Americans just as they were on the sides of the uh, the South and the North in the Civil War they were on the side of America and they swept floors they ate with only Negroes there was still segregation and discrimination towards black people in war the VA mortgage program enabled 5 million white men to buy their first home. Between 1930, right now, this is right before the Great Depression. Between 1930 and 1960, only 1% of, the, of, of all those mortgages went to black veterans. A, what is that, collateral? Was, uh, and collateral was sometimes required for black vets but not for whites. In 1947, of 3,229 VA mortgage loans given to veterans residing in Mississippi, only two went to blacks. And I bet you that those that went to those blacks was probably some coons or some toms who buck danced all the way for those uh, for those incentives. Uh, the private market was just as atrocious with its unrestrained discriminations in the form of racial zoning, redlining, racial steering, uh, predatory li lending, uh, block busting, and clauses inserted into mortgages which made white owners agree never to sell to anyone but another white man. This is... These are practices that we need to learn. Okay? These are, these are practices that we need to learn. We need to learn how to sell to each other. And only each other. So that we could prosper. So that we could come up just like the Asian community. Just like the Jewish community. Okay. Um, these so-called res uh, restrictive covenants used uh, explicit language 
targeting Negroes, Africans, and Ethiopians for exclusion. A publication of the National Association of Real Estate Boards advised realtors to be on guard against, check this out, told the advised realtors to be on guard against a colored man who means uh, a colored man of means who was get, who was giving his children a college education and thought they were entitled to live among whites. So all of you who who try to move to these white quote unquote white neighborhoods, you're being watched. They're watching you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Continuing on, a publication of the National Association of, uh, okay, yeah, I read that. Oh, and it compared such a black man to a bootlegger or a pimp who wanted to hide his criminal activity by living in a better neighborhood. Soak all this up, man. The development of of the American suburbs was an almost entirely white phenomenon. One fifth of the country went from renters to homeowners. In the in the in the uh, 15 years after World War II, okay, leaving blacks in retail contracts that drained rather than built wealth. Massive uh, suburban home building projects like the Levitt Towns built homes at a rate of 30 a day, but Jewish real estate developer William Levitt actually went to court to keep blacks out. And do you think do you not think that white privilege do you think that white privilege did not work in his favor mm -hmm. I, I was I was thinking too hard man I was really thinking um okay sorry about that um that World War II generation of homeowners is now willing uh those uh, real real property assets to their children in what is called the greatest transfer of wealth in history okay so a lot of these white people who are saying to pull yourself up by your own bootstrap these people have an economic foundation they have an economic base where they don't have to worry about their next meal their car note or any other expenses that have to be paid like we do but we are we have to rely on this week's check and next week's check okay even if blacks could navigate those myriad obstacles and bought homes uh, their mortgages had I'm sorry let me start over blacks could navigate those even if blacks could navigate those myriad obstacles and bought homes their mortgages had usurious interest rates and lower valued dwellings in less desirable neighborhoods that were farther away from good schools, good food, health care facilities, playgrounds, parks and gainful employment I want to touch on this word, usurious. Um, going to look it up in Oxford English. Okay. Usurious. Usurious. Okay, and what usurious means is relating to or characterized by usury, extraor uh, extraordinary. Okay. Practice of lending money at unreasonable high rates of interest. Okay. Usually. Okay. Um. 
but yeah um let's move on let's move on um an estimated 4 million violations of fair housing laws every year guarantee that housing discrimination will remain the status quo okay look man look here by the end of this book it shouldn't be nothing else it shouldn't be a damn thing that nobody else has what do you do man <laughs> I don't know. It seems like you're trying to speak. But you just took a hell of a hit. I just popped your skull so hard, your eyeball just popped out. And it is gross as shit. Man, God, I'm fighting you. No exceptions. Oh, jeez. 